Hi, we're going to have a look at solving simultaneous equations. First method we're going to be using is we're going to be using algebra, but the first method to use algebra is the elimination method. And here's our first example. We have 3x minus 2y equals 20 and x plus 2y equals 4. Now you'll notice here that uh, our two y terms are matching up. They're the same size as each other. So if we um, add these two equations together, our y terms will disappear. They'll cancel each other out. They'll be eliminated. And it's called the elimination method for a reason. So that'll help us work out the whole thing. So we have to add uh, the x terms together, the y terms together, and the normal numbers together and see what we we are left with. We can think of this as having an invisible 1 in front of it. 3x plus uh, x will be 4x. Uh, as I said, the minus 2y and the 2y will cancel each other out, which is what we want. And 20 plus 4 is 24. We'll just solve the little equation that's left here. So to get rid of a 4, we will divide by 4 both sides. And uh, leaving us with x equals 24 divided by 4 is 6. Now when we get one solution to our uh, algebra solution to the simultaneous equations, we will pick the uh, easier of the two equations that we started with. And we'll substitute in, instead of an x, we're going to put a 6. So we would have here our original equation here that we started with. x plus 2y equals 4. And if we replace the x with a 6 here, we will get 6 plus 2y equals 4. And we'll solve that equation. Uh, to solve this equation, we'd want to move a, a 6 by minusing both sides. Uh, that'll leave us with 2y equals... Now, 4 minus 6 is minus 2. And we'll divide by 2 both sides to have y on its own. 2, minus 2 divided by 2 is minus 1. So to solve these, uh, when we solve these equations simultaneously, we usually just write down the solution together for the x and the y terms. Uh, so they're nicely, nicely in the one spot for the marker to notice how well we've done. And our solution to these uh, simultaneous equations here uh, turned out to be x equals 6 and y equals minus 1. So we merged the two equations and eliminated uh, the x value, uh, sorry, the y values, because uh, they were both uh, the same size as each other, and that allowed us to find x, and then substitute that x value back into one of the equations to find the the other solution, the y value. Our next example here is a little trickier. We don't have either of the y values matching up or the x values matching up. Uh, so we're going to have to uh, adjust one of the equations in this case to uh, make that happen. Uh, we'll probably uh, number these equations here because we're going to create a third equation. That's our first two equations. Now in order to have our x values match up here, what I'm going to do is to multiply every term in that equation 1 by 2. And you'll see that that helps us to match up the x terms. We'll create, if we multiply each term here by 2, we'll have 2 times x, which is 2x, plus 2 times uh, 2y, which is 4y. And we also have to do 2 times 16, which is 32. Now, once we've done that, we've adjusted that first equation. We could call that uh, this, this uh, equation we've created equation 3. Because the x terms are matching up and they're easier to deal with, we're just going to focus now on those uh, these two equations here. Now I think you'll uh, agree with me when I say that if we subtract between these two equations, that will allow us to do 2x minus 2x making 0. So we're eliminating the x's in this particular case. So 2x minus 2x uh, pretty much cancels out. 4y minus 3y leaves us with y, and 32 minus 29 is 3. So no, uh, no resulting equation to solve here. It's very nice for us. Once we've found one of our uh, solutions, y equals 3, we're going to pick the easier of the two equations here, which I think is the first original equation, and we're going to substitute in 
a 3 wherever there is a y. So we'll just write that equation out here. Our original equation that we started with was x plus 2y equals 16. And if we substitute a 3 in wherever there's a y, it would go in here. We'd get x plus 2 lots of 3 equals 16. We'll just solve all that. x equals 2 lots of 3 is 6. Sorry, x plus. Sorry about that. <laughs> 2 lots of 3 is 6 equals 16. And to get x on its own, we will minus 6 both sides. x equals 10. So we had y equals 3 and x equals 10. We'll just write them together. And we solved that uh, pair of simultaneous equations. So we had to adjust that because we didn't start out with the x values matching up in size or the y values matching up in size. It's easy enough to uh, adjust these, but, but we have to make sure we multiply, if we're multiplying by something, multiply every term by that same thing. And so that's the slightly harder ones now. Let's have a look at the really hard ones. <laughs> You'll notice that uh, in this third equation here, this third uh, set of equations, we have 2x and 3x, uh, 5y, minus 5y and minus 2y. None of those match up very well at all. So what we're going to do is adjust both of them. We're going to make a new equation here by multiplying by 3 on every term. And we're going to multiply this equation by 2 for every term to create a couple more equations. We could number these equation 1 and equation 2. Now the reason I'm multiplying this by 3 is I'll create 6x and if I multiply this by 2 I will create 6x. So I'm doing that deliberately to match up the x terms in my new equations. So 3 times each of the terms here. Let's just do that quickly. 6x 3 lots of minus 5y, you'd have to be careful in your calculator. It's minus 15y. 3 lots of 22 is 66. And I'm going to multiply 2 through here pretty quickly. 6x. 2 times minus 2y is minus 4y. Again, 2 times 11 is 22. All right, now what? We ask ourselves, what will we need to do between these two uh, new equations? We're working on just these equations here now. What are we going to do between these in order to eliminate one of the letters? Well, I reckon we're going to have to minus between those two equations because 6x minus 6x will eliminate the x's. have to be really careful here, though. Listen to what we say here. We say minus 15y minus, between the two equations, a minus 4y. I'll just do this up here to just uh, show you what happens. We have a minus 15 minus between the equations a minus 4 as far as our y terms go. Two minuses together merge to become a plus. So on the number line minus 15 plus 4 is minus 11. So that's a long way of just showing you that uh, we have minus 11y there. And here we have 44. Alrighty, pretty tricky, but we have to be careful with uh, what we're saying to ourselves as we piece this together. To get y on its own here, the minus 11 is multiplying by y, so we will divide by minus 11. And y will equal 44 divided by minus 11, even if you have to do it on your calculator, is y equals minus 4. We're going to substitute that into, hmm, they're both pretty uh, difficult here, so let's substitute that into equa our original equation 2. We're going to substitute, wherever there's a y, we're going to put a minus 4 pretty carefully. Our original equation 2 was 3x minus 2y equals 11. So straight under here, instead of a y, I'm going to put a minus 4 because that was my first solution there. 3x minus 2 lots of minus 4. We'll have to once again be careful of our negative signs. Let's uh, process this. 3x equals uh, minus 2 times minus 4 is plus 8. I've done that minus again. Uh, equals then. 3x minus 2 times minus 4 is plus 8. So we'll be left with a two step equation here. We want to move the plus 8 by minusing 8 both sides. That'll leave us with 3x equals 3 and x equals 1. 
Alright, so we had to actually adjust both equations to get the x's matching up and then we merged them carefully. There's a lot of things that could go wrong in this solution but still. And we'll just, once we've finished, uh, write these two solutions together. x ended up being 1 and y ended up being minus 4. Okay, that's pretty tough stuff but if you're up for a challenge I'm sure you could uh, figure it out. Alright, so there are three uh, pretty tough examples on the elimination method to solve simultaneous equations. Let's have a look at another algebraic way of solving simultaneous equations and that's using the substitution method. Sometimes it's a little easier for students this one. Let's have a squeeze. Alright, you'll notice we've got two equations here and they're both conveniently starting with y equals. So what we say to ourselves, if y equals this that I'm circling and y also equals this that I'm circling, then mathematically the two circlings should equal each other. So we're going to piece these together in a merged equation here. We're going to say 2x minus 1 equals x minus 3. So we've just sort of matched it up. I mean if we substituted this uh, circling here on the right hand side, this x minus 3, if we substituted that in every time we saw a y in this equation, we'd end up with this, uh, this uh, resulting merged equation. Now this ends up being an equation with letters on both sides and uh, my method for that is to move the smaller letter term first. So let's minus x both sides. That will end up with um, now we say to ourselves 2x minus a 1x leaves us with an x and we have a minus 1 on that left hand side. Careful here, we've used the uh, x up but this minus belongs to that 3 so don't let that slip there and to solve that to get x on its own we'll add 1 both sides x equals, careful here, minus 3 plus 1 is minus 2 and we'll check out the uh, easier of the two original equations and we'll substitute uh, instead of an x we're going to put a minus 2 in so that's going to instead of y equals x minus 3 we're going to put y equals minus 2 minus 3 we've just substituted a minus 2 in instead of our x and if we're careful with our signs here minus 2 minus another 3 is minus 5 so we've got our solutions here, x equals minus 2 and y equals minus 5. That's the solutions to this. And we solved them using substitution. We merged the equations by substituting x minus 3 in instead of a y, or vice versa there. So that's our merged equation that we then solved. Okay, that's substitution. Um, another slightly harder substitution example next. Let's have a look here. I've got one of the equations with y equals, um, but the other one doesn't have a y equals. So we can take this here and substitute it in wherever there's a y in the other equation. So if we do that, we're left with 3x plus, instead of y, we're actually putting in, in, in its place x plus 2 from the other equation to merge the two together. Now those brackets aren't doing anything much there, so we'll just have a look at this left hand side. 3x plus a uh, invisible 1x there is 4x, we're just adding the like terms. And we create a two step equation here that we'll solve to move a plus 2 or minus 2 both sides. Leaving us with 4x equals 4, and I think you can see that x will equal 1 when you divide both sides by 4 there. Okay, so into uh, this equation here, we're going to, um, don't know what happened there, we're going to look at uh, substituting, instead of an x, we're going to put a 1, just to see what y is, instead of y equals x plus 2, we're going to put y equals 1 plus 2, so y will equal 3 there, that's not a g, that's supposed to be a y. Okay, so we'll just uh, write that together here for the sake of the markers so they don't have to look all the way through the question to see the solution. x equals 1, y equals 3. Slightly harder substitution, you pick the easiest one here and, we, and whatever y equals can replace y in the other equation to create this merged equation here which ends up being a qu an equation that's a two-step equation and not too hard to solve if you uh, keep your concentration. 
Okay, so we've solved um, five examples there, three of them with the elimination method, two of them with the substitution method. That's all been done by algebra. Let's have a look at how we can solve simultaneous equations if we're lucky enough to get some that have graphs given to us. Okay, so we can solve them using a graph. Our steps are we've got to graph both lines. And uh, if, the, if you're lucky enough, the question will give you um, the lines already graphed sometimes. And then what we're doing to find the solution is pretty mighty easy, thankfully. And we're just going to uh, look to find where the lines cross. And we're going to just state the point at which the lines cross. So here's our number plane. And here's one line that we could have graphed. Here's another line that we could have graphed. Now they've got uh, equations, linear equations for both of them. Now the solution to that, we're just going to look where the line crosses and just going to write down that point. Remember we do the x uh, the x line, for x value first. This is our x-axis down here and this is our y-axis up here. Remember we always quote the, y, uh, the x point first. So, so we say the solution to this equation is 5, 4. You can see that uh, the 5 is our x value of that point there and the 4 is the y value of that point where they cross. So that's really nice. If you're given two lines in an equation, uh, in, a, in, a, in a question in a test, you just look for where they cross and you write down the point where they cross and you've found the solution to the simultaneous equations using a graph. That's a bit of a bargain compared to all that algebra we were just doing. Anyway, that's a good run through or a big run through of simultaneous equations. They're a big challenge, but uh, I hope you're up for the challenge and uh, some good bonus marks because a lot of students uh, have trouble with all those processes. So I hope the video helps and uh, enjoy your studying. Thanks a lot.